We're going to do a little blog for you today, answer some of your questions about life, marriage, and the girls. Yes. We're just going to start at the top and go through a bunch of your questions mm -hmm. about our life right now. Yeah, I think from my perspective, it's a special experience because of all that we've been through. Yeah. And so, you know, Tiffany is very self-conscious. Well, I haven't lost all this weight. I don't like how I look. And I don't... I don't feel like I'm that self-conscious during sex. Well, no, I guess I but am. But leading up, leading up to it, yeah. I would say yes. Like, if I have lingerie that doesn't fit right, I'm just like, I'm done, I'm done. no, no. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I, but I think from my perspective, like, that's not... It's not a factor. It's yeah. like, this is my wife and I love her. And like, how much she weighs is just not. Yeah, you just think I'm beautiful anyway. You just, yeah. I, just keep, just like, keep telling exactly. me that. Keep telling yeah, me that over exactly. and over. So, but I think having a conversation with your husband, if you said, I just don't look great. And your husband will say, well, no, actually, I think you do. And you yeah. can ask him to be more specific. And also, like, do stuff, Ellie's down here making noise. Do stuff, like, find things that help you feel beautiful. So that could be buying lingerie that fits you now, painting your toenails, taking a shower, like, do something that helps you feel good about yourself in whatever way that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think you're not gonna know offhand what that is, so you're just gonna Try do an experiment. Things. This year has been a struggle for me with the weight gain, um, especially because I haven't lost all the baby weight yet. Um, in this pregnancy, it was, I'll just go on a little rant here because it's so frustrating to me. I felt like I was doing things quote unquote right. Like I was, well, first off, I was sick as a dog, vomiting like up to five times a day for the first few months. And I'd eat dessert, what, like twice a week. And I didn't feel like I was eating a lot. And I gained weight so much and so fast. I gained 75 pounds in nine months. That's a lot of weight to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for a seven pound baby. And especially because like, like I said, like I wasn't binging, I wasn't eating junk food. I was like, it felt like I was doing a really good job and what I should be doing. And I just kept gaining and gaining and gaining. And I still don't know why. Then after pregnancy, I find out I have postpartum thyroiditis and that makes it really tough to lose weight. Um, there's like a month that I lost like 10 pounds in a month from it. And then it just like started gaining it back. Like every day I gain half a pound and I wasn't eating a lot again. So it's just, the weight gain has been such a frustrating journey for me, especially because it's been so hard to come off and I still have a lot left to lose. So it's been frustrating, but it also has been, like, I'm not just saying this to be cliche, but it's been really good for me because it's forced me to learn how to love myself in a new way. And I've seen so much growth. Like a few days ago, Natalie came up to me and said, mommy, why is your belly so big? And in the past, I would have cried. <laughs> but instead, I, it just like came to me in that moment, like, and I just said, because you and Ellie grew in it. And so every time I look down and see my belly, I'm reminded that once it housed you, you lived in it, it kept you warm, it fed you, and someday it won't be quite this big. But for now, it's my reminder that you guys lived in me. And that was like a really powerful moment for me in my own self, my own growth with how yeah. I see my body. Yeah, so we didn't do premarital counseling per se before we got married, but we did have a mentor couple that we met with, met with monthly, I think maybe twice before we got married, and then maybe eight or 10 times afterwards. Was it that many times? Maybe not, know. during our first year of marriage. Yeah. And it was because we, we had talked about the big things like money mm -hmm. and kids, and we felt like we had gone through premarital type stuff, but we knew there was just going to be things that we ran into. And sure enough, we were correct. Oh yes, we were. Um, so we knew we wanted someone that wasn't like, oh, this is James's mentor and now they accept Tiffany, or this is Tiffany men mentor and now they're working with James. We wanted we wanted someone new. Yeah. And Tiffany's parents recommended a couple that we heard of. Mm -hmm. We knew one of their kids, but we didn't really know them well. Yeah. And we met with them and it jived and it was great. And yeah, it is definitely going to be awkward at first. I mean, most things are awkward at first. True. And you don't have to unload everything all at once. Uh -huh. I mean, you're, you're getting to know them. You can sort of start, you know, how did how did you guys meet? Uh -huh. you know, tell us some tell, questions. Tell your life story. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you really, you have to build some rapport with them before you can tell them, like, what's really bothering you.
I don't think so. In fact, I think, have we switched sides of the bed? While we switch married? every so often. Yeah. yeah. Because we don't want our mattress getting yeah. weirdly bumped. Well, <laughs> and then we do rotate the mattress. But I think sure. part of it is like Tiffany needs to wants to sleep on the side of the bed that has the most nightstand space because of all the accoutrements. <laughs> So depending on the bed, like even like on vacation, sometimes we'll switch sides so that she could be on the side that has more nightstand <laughs> space. Oh. oh boy. I would say one kid, Tiffany was doing a lot of the work and I was like, I feel great. This is not a big deal. Can we have sex again? And now it's like, we both do a lot and we're both really tired and TV sounds a lot more relaxing. <laughs> yeah, most nights, oh. like, you're too tired to move anymore. But I think, too, just, like, it depends on your kid. So for us, yeah, like, true. Ellie had some big health issues. Um, we had to hold her literally 23 hours out of the day for the first three months, like, while she slept. She's had issues with reflux. Now she's been diagnosed with a significant delay in feeding, soothing, and sleeping, and it all comes down to like, she's having trouble swallowing mm -hmm. real food. Yeah. And so her she's uncomfortable, yeah. they think her tummy hurts. And so Ellie has been a tricky baby. She's like a super fun, happy baby most of the time, but it's been, it's been a very involved experience. You realize, I hope you enjoy sharing this. I know you do, but it's I nothing to do with the question. It, well, yeah, because when your baby is this involved, it's hard to get time alone together. So. It's gonna be different for everybody. I did take meds. Thankfully, my meds that I was on already for depression and anxiety had made a huge difference and they were safe for pregnancy and breastfeeding. So I stayed on those and I'm so glad I did. My first time with Natalie, I wasn't on any meds and um, postpartum depression and anxiety was so intense. Um, but this time, I don't feel like I really had a lot of postpartum depression and anxiety. Mm -hmm. The meds really mm -hmm. just carried me through, and I was really grateful for that. Um, yeah, I, I do have the, have the theory that towards the end of the pregnancy, I felt like the meds weren't helping as much. True. And I thought that's because the amount you take is mostly based on your weight. Yeah. And as we said, Tiffany's weight was a lot higher, but her dose dosage didn't increase. True. I'm not a doctor. We didn't increase the dose. That's our just theory. Just a personal observation. Yeah. I would say we punt as much as possible uh, and search for simple answers. I, yeah, I think I've become comfortable sort of oversimplifying. Yeah. Like I, sort of like death, for example. Well, I don't really talked about that. Yeah. Except with like flowers and plants. Mm -hmm. And I, animals a little bit. I think you like, yeah, you build on stepping stones mm -hmm. and you figure out like what are the most important foundational things for your kid to know. So for us, it's yeah. that God is there and God loves you. Mm -hmm. Like that is like. Mm -hmm. that, and that we pray to God. And we, we can talk to God. Mm -hmm. Yep. Those are the things that we're focusing on. And she's only three. So you kind of realize like what your kid is ready for mentally and emotionally. Mm -hmm. And I think you also work on like being a decent human being. Yeah, that's a lot I, of what I we think, do. I, I think that that's huge because I, I think that no matter the what words you use, your kid is gonna take a different idea from what you say yeah. than what you were trying to communicate. That's so what inevitably, your kid will have heretical ideas, <laughs> like our child. Had a, who was reading a five dollar bill the other day and said, "Back when Jesus was naughty, it was so funny. He gave people everywhere money. <laughs> That's not in the Bible, folks." She said she's going to read me a one page book for my bedtime story. Okay, go ahead. Once upon a time, a long, 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 long time ago, when Jesus was big and old, he was naughty as can be. This is a funny story. And Jesus claimed every woman be funny to all the people in the land. I would say overall there's a lot of similarities in what we do. I would say that Tiffany is more risk averse. I'm a paratrooper parent, James informed me recently. Paratrooper parent. <laughs> I hear my child cry and I must parachute in to rescue them. <laughs> you have to talk a lot to make sure you're like on the same page enough and also embrace your differences. Yeah.
Is that what you think, Ellie? Uh, really? Do you have a favorite parenting strategy? Uh, oh, my. Oh, my. Someone's uh, taking over. She's ready for her own video channel. Yes. Yay, yes. Ellie! But also, like, embracing that our differences can also be our strengths. And so we make each other stronger with our differences. Uh, yeah, so we have sort of I. I playfully call Tiffany a paratrooper parent, so rather than get mad at her, I'm like, you're doing it! <laughs>